Okay, hello everybody and welcome to another playthrough. This time I'm playing through Yearwalk, uh, which is a game that's loosely based on an old Swedish tradition that was just briefly described to you called Yearwalk. Um, or I'm not going to even try this, the Swedish pronunciation actually, um, but as it was just explained to you, yeah, somebody would deprive themselves of food and, and water on some sort of holiday usually, and they would go out in the middle of the night to the nearest church and they would sort of get their Christianity challenged by creatures, as it just sort of mentioned there. And if they pass these challenges, they might get a vision of the future to know if they'd be wealthy or if they'd be loved or, or what was going to happen to them and something like that. Um, really, really interesting tradition. I'll put a, a wiki link, actually, in the description if you want to read a little bit more about it yourselves. Um, but yeah, this game, Year Walk, is based on that old tradition, and uh, this was actually recommended to me by one of you guys in the comments in my previous videos. It didn't cost too much, so I thought, yeah, I'll give this one a go. It looks really interesting. It looks quite creepy as well. I wouldn't exactly call it a horror game, maybe, but um, it's it's got a, a very eerie atmosphere by the looks of it. Probably primarily a puzzle game. Okay, so I hope you enjoy Year Walk. Here we go. A and D, left and right, to walk. Okay. All right. When there is a path leading north, press W or up arrow key to cross it. Okay. So, yeah, I think it's just going to be a, a little bit like an indie game I played a little while ago, actually. I can't remember the name of it. It wasn't very good. That's probably why. But um, it seems to have the same sort of controls. Is this the one I'm looking for? Apparently so. Okay. Also, we got some icons in the top right. Let's have a look at them. Um, so there's a map, an encyclopedia, a journal, and we got hints. Oh, uh, journal, I think. Maybe the journal is related to something you can do um, if you have like an iPhone or something like that. I think there's an app for this game and you might be able to use the app with it. Username and password, I actually have no idea and I'm not using a device so I'm just going to ignore that one. Let's check the map. So we are in the woods and box area, Vedtorp Skog apparently and we just left Cottage, Solsorten. Right, okay, it looks like there's a, a few more parts of the map that I, I can't actually see at the moment for some reason. Uh, so we've got woods, 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 outskirts of the woods, plains, and there's a windmill in the uh, in the northwest up there. Okay, so that's the map. Let's have a look at the um, encyclopedia. Okay. So I, I Orsgong, Orsgong, I think that's pronounced uh, Year Walk. Let's just have a look at the encyclopedia article. Um, it looks like we've got six here, but let's have a look at Year Walks. Looks like it might require a little bit of reading and, well, I want to save my throat for something else, perhaps. So, yeah, I'll allow you to read this yourselves. Pause the video if you need to, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, that's it. Today the practice seems to be almost entirely forgotten. Pretty much what I read myself on the wiki article. It might have been copy-pasted, I have no idea. But um, yeah, that's it's a pretty cool thing to base a game around, I think. So I think this is worth playing. Okay, so we've also got the Holder of the, the Brook Horse, the Myling, the Night Raven, and the Church Grim. The Church Grim was mentioned at the end of the article, actually. Um, so let's just briefly, I guess, check the Church Grim. Okay. I think this is just for, like, reference throughout the game, so I might be coming back to this, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, there's the, uh, the Church Grim. The most complex, and certainly the most feared, of the creatures in Swedish folklore, apparently. 
But perhaps let's save that for another time. Let's let's keep going. Next up is the journal, but I'm going to ignore that because I don't have access to it. Um, we've also got hints. So yeah, this is just another indication that this is more a puzzle game than anything else. Uh, we're in the prologue right now. Reveal hint one. Do we need to like do something to get hints? I'm not sure. Let's just click it. Okay. Someone waits at the windmill, apparently. Okay. So I know where the windmill is. That's in the northwest, isn't it? So can we just head over to the windmill? I, I guess. Let's, let's give that a go. And then there's some settings there, which I'm not going to bother you with. So, all right. Keeping on going. What is this? Uh, looks like I can walk into it or through it. Oh no, what? Okay. This game was primarily made actually for iOS devices and Android devices and stuff like that, so it's meant to be used with the touch screen, but this is like the PC port of it. So I imagine it's going to be a little bit like uh, The Room in a strange way, in the way you might interact with things. I have no real idea what I'm doing here. There seems to be some sort of um, like, like a goat head or something. Maybe I'm meant to line up a symbol in there, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to leave it right now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to head to the head to the uh, the windmill. Uh, up. Let's just check the map again. Might take me a little while to get used to the controls, to be honest. So, okay. These little dotted lines, I assume, are how I get to the next areas. So I need to go. I need to go down over here to the left. It looks like. Oh yeah, there. Press S or down arrow key to walk. Yeah, walk past leading south. Okay, let's do that. So down. So I've really got to pay attention to the uh, the bars at the top and bottom of the screen, it looks like. Up, yep, okay, and up up again, I believe, yes, we just keep going up now, I think. And then a little bit over here, yeah. I'm out in the bloody wilderness over here, honestly. Oh, I see the windmill in the distance, there you go. Right, where is it? Here it is! Uh, can we go inside? Yes, we can, hello. Left click to interact, okay. There you are! I've been waiting for you all day! She looks pretty chuffed to see me. You should not go outside without a hat on a cold day like this. You will freeze your ears off. <laughs> and I am quite fond of the person those ears belong to. Did anyone see you coming here? Now you're being silly. You know that I'm not ashamed of you. It's not that. I like you very much, but you and I come from different worlds. He is waiting for my answer. I said I'd give it to him next year. And this is the last day of this year. Now you're being unfair. This isn't any easier for me. I don't like it when you're like this. Calm down. Year walking? I hope you're joking. You do remember what happened to my cousin, don't you? What happened to your cousin? Promise me you won't do anything foolish. <laughs> I don't think I can promise that, really. We are not supposed to know what happens in the future. You should hurry home to your cottage and get some rest. It's getting dark soon. Hurry home to your cottage. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's let's go back to where we originally came from, then, I suppose. So we just leave? Can we, like, go upstairs or up, you know, up the ladder? I uh, don't believe so. Okay. Sure. So, um, let's just keep going back to the cottage then. So I guess I'm just about to start the year walk. Is it, if, if it's, you know, like New Year's Eve, I guess at the turn of midnight I'll begin. I'm looking forward to this, actually. It's, it's a nice concept. It's a very unique concept. i got to be honest, I don't know too much about Swedish folklore. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are in my situation too. Unless, of course, you're Swedish. Even then you might not know about this. And, oh, there we go, almost past it. Down to my cottage, Saltsorten. So I guess this is where the year walk begins. She didn't deter me from starting it, I don't think. Oh, what's this? Ooh, okay. What do we got here? I saw something else too. Ah, okay. Anything else? Oh. Oh, I know what this... This is the logo. Hang on a minute. Let me just click these. This is a year walk. Nice. I like it. Very cool. 
Here we go then. The journey begins. The walk begins. Yeah, it's night time now. So, what do I do? Go back to the windmill? Or, um, if it's a, if it's a year walk, I need to go to a church, don't I? Let's have a look at the map. The, um, okay, everything seems to be unlocked to me right now. Cemetery gate. Is that a church? That's a church. Grim Kirk can, apparently. Uh, yes. So, we just need to head north, it looks like. Um, hmm. No idea, to be honest. Uh, do we just check hints? Are we still on the prologue? No, we're on the Huldra. Okay, we're on the Huldra. I think that was one of the encyclopedia topics, actually. So, I'm not going to reveal a hint, but I want to check the encyclopedia again. Yeah, the Huldra. Let's have a look at the Huldra. Right, the Huldra was the guardian of the forest. A single large tree in a grove surrounded by smaller trees was often considered to be the Huldra's home. She sounds a little bit like a uh, like a forest mermaid leading not sailors but perhaps hikers to their doom sometimes. The Huldra was thus capable of doing both good and bad deeds. It was very hard to predict whether she would help or harm, since she played by rules known only to her. Okay, fine. Um, I, I don't want to use the hint button too much, but I, I'm just going to press it a couple times maybe. Let's just see what hint one tells us to do. Search for the church. Okay, that's fine. We're just we're keeping with the year walk theme. We're going to go to the church. That makes sense. Hopefully I don't get punished for like using hints, because I I'd, I'd like not to use them from now on. Which is the quickest way to the church? I'm just seeing how to connect all these. I guess up to the right, past the woods and shed to the cemetery gate, and then through there. So okay, to the right somewhere. Oh, what's this? What's this? We got a tree here with a symbol on it. A couple of symbols. Should I be writing this stuff down? I feel I should be writing this stuff down. So I'm going to write this stuff down. So give me a second, guys. Okay, so it looks like we've got a, like the outline of a, a child, possibly. A, and uh, the end of a pitchfork, or something like that. I don't know. Talons of a bird, maybe. Let's keep moving on. Oh, there it is. Is that how we get across? Yeah. Okay, what's this? Uh, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna write it down. I can't like interact with it or anything, but it could come in useful later on, may, uh, maybe. All right, fair enough. And that's as uh, that's as far as we can go. All the way to the to the left. Uh, there's the little connecting area. Oh, okay, it's just to my right apparently. Over this little path. Okay, okay. This is kind of cool. Probably not for everyone, though. I can imagine a few people have already turned the video off thinking, Oh, not this bullshit again. Writing things down with a pen and paper? Nah, not for me. Give me a second, I'm just going to write this one down as well. Okay. Okay, so this is the woods in the underground storage area. I, I kind of want to go to the cemetery gate, I guess, so... Let's not get sidetracked all that much. Let's um, let's go over the hill, follow the, foot, uh, follow the footprints over here. Oh, there is like a little thing here little shed. Can we go inside? We can't go inside. Okay. <laughs> it's a little creepy. Can I interact with you in any way? Oh, I can I can spin your head. Can't move your arms or anything like... Okay. I can keep spinning your head, though. You've got like a corkscrew head. Uh. I should be writing this down! Fuck. Left. Right. Left. Right. Okay. Shit! <laughs> right. Again. And again. Uh, left. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Whoa. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is where it becomes a little bit of a horror game as well. That's creepy as fuck. Um, so, yes, I wrote that all down. We've got like a combination of left, right, left, right, 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 left, left. Hopefully I didn't miss anything because I wasn't really expecting to, uh, to have to note that down. Although maybe I can just like listen to it again. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What happened to your bloody face? That's so weird. 
There's like little etchings of um, birds, I think, behind the child as well. That's really weird. Okay, so that's the little shed area. I don't want to get sidetracked, so let's just keep moving this way. There should be a path. Uh, yes, over here. Past the sign. Uh, we are in the right place, aren't we? Yes, we're at the cemetery gate, apparently. There it is. Ah. Bit of a problem. I probably don't have a key, do I? Oh, no, wait. No, I do. What's this? Oh, is this... Is this the Holdra? Maybe this is the first of many creatures that I'll be seeing in the year walk. That was a cool effect. Okay. Okay, so I gather I don't have the key. She has the key? Um, sure. So I, I can't, like, leap over the wall or anything either. Can we have a look at the sign down here? No. We can go down. Um... Sure. Okay. So, uh, hint? <laughs> I don't want to use hints too much, really. Oh, we're on part two already. Okay. Tell you what, I'll, I'll just reveal hint one just to get a good base for where we're going to go. She holds the key. That's fine. Yeah, follow her song. Oh, okay. Is that what I was hearing in the background? Very, very faintly. Very faintly. It might be a little louder now? I'm not really sure, to be honest. Right, where, where would we be going if we go down? We'd be going to the woods. Uh, okay. Uh, possibly. There's a rune stone over there. A brook down here, fine. What's this? A dead tree? Uh, a dead tree? Didn't... Isn't the holder meant to be like the guardian of the forest? Let's let's see if we can head towards the dead tree. So down. I can still hear it. I must be in you know going in the right sort of direction. So dead tree. Yes, there should be a path up ahead somewhere. Just got to look for that arrow at the top. I'm not ah no, that's the one I came through, isn't it? Yeah, that would lead me back to the woods and the shed. Um, okay. So, maybe it's like a secret path? That I don't have access to or something? Let's, um, let's go down. Yeah, let's go down towards the runestone. Okay. This is the runestone. What are these things? Okay. Okay, so I can do a little doodle on this if I really wanted to. That's, uh, that's interesting, I guess. Uh, what? Did, hang on a moment. I, what, one of those things I just wrote down. Having a pen and paper, I think, is really going to help. Can I? Can I reset this in some way? Because I think I might be able to draw something that I've seen. Let me let me go back on myself. Yeah, let me go back on myself. Does that reset it? It does seem to. Okay. So we've got like a little hourglass thing on stilts. That's what I'm going to call it. So it went up like that, then across, then like this. And then down. <gasps> yes! Oh, okay, okay. I, I'm, I'm doing something. One of the eyes is lit up. There's two more eyes. Uh, what about if I do the same symbol upside down or something like that? I don't know. Where did I, where did I see that little thing? Let me just have a look at the map again. It was around... It was one of these two, wasn't it? Was it that? Is that what that was? That little eye thing? It was a little stone. Okay, hang on. Are there any more of those little stones? There's one up there on a hill. Is there another one? I'm thinking there might be like three plus. Oh, there's another one. Okay. In the woods in the kiln area. This massive area down here. Okay. Okay, let's go check this one out in the woods in the kiln area, shall we? I think I might be going somewhere with this. This is interesting. Right. Um, let's... Head down. Uh, to, to, the, to the left is where I'm going to see the stone, I think. Uh, where would that go? That would go to... That would go down to the brook. Okay. 
pretty soon up ahead is going to be... Yeah, there we go. Another one. Okay, I'm going to write this one down and then we're going to put that on the little rune stone over there. That's going to be awesome. I'm loving this already, to be honest. Probably because I'm, I seem to be doing well at it already. Maybe if I get stuck, <laughs> then I'll have a completely different opinion. I'm not sure. But okay, there you go. I'm still hearing her singing as well, so I guess I'm kind of close. Uh, up, up here, was it? Yep, yeah, here we are. So, let's try and get this right. It was a, it's a bit of a weird one, this one. Like that. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, we just need to find that third one. I think there's only three, wasn't there, on the map? Let's have a look. Is that one? Uh, so, we've done that one, we've done that one. There's a few other things on the map, but none of them have, like, the semicircle with an eye underneath. Hmm. Okay, so we need to go to the hill at some point. But, again, I think I might be getting sidetracked. Let's just see if we can find this uh, Toldra thing with, a, with the key. I'm... I don't know. Is it louder here? It could be louder. Maybe, maybe, uh, let's have a look at the brook area down here. Over the log. Okay, so we have a, a river. That's fine. I guess. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here, though. There's not many things you can interact with in this game, it seems like. I am clicking quite often, but... I'm just, I, maybe I'm not clicking on the right things. Let's see, what else have we got down here? There's a woods and kiln. Is that the kiln right at the very left? Maybe, maybe that's where I should be looking. So we go past that stone there. Uh, no, not, no, don't want to go forward. Ah, here we go, yes, yes. So we've got a little kiln here. Let's, let's go inside. Yeah, okay. Okay, there's nothing in the kiln, I don't think. Can I poke my head in? No. Cool, though. Nice to know. Um, I don't know, you know. I might have to search in another area. I'm, I'm pretty sure if she's the guardian of the forest, she might be around the dead tree. I just couldn't find the dead tree um, route across. Apparently it is there, isn't it? So, ah! Oh, hello! <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Right, I didn't... Oh, yeah, I didn't think I was here, to be honest, but that's fine. Hi. Where are you going? Should I just follow you? Follow the, uh... Follow your song. I hope you don't harm me, but rather help me. Give me the key, maybe. Where are you going? You gonna go up? I think so. She's not... Ah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, she's going. This is cool. Yeah, definitely a puzzle game. I'm really into it right now, though. Or maybe you can tell me what the third symbol is. That'd be great. No? Oh. It's a very nice art style as well. It's very appealing to look at this. Up we go. Where are we right now? Are we heading to the dead tree? She's go Oh, maybe yes. She's going right. There isn't a path around here. There should be, though, right? Wait. Yeah, yeah, right there. I couldn't see it, though. Oh. Creating life as she goes. Yeah, now I've got the path. Okay. I'm enthralled, honestly. How do I follow you? Oh, are these the birds? That that kid in the shed. You know, the the doll. I, I got a combination, didn't I? I got left-right combination. They were two owls? I guess so. Hang on, let's let's try this. So left. Actually, you know what? Let's let's go back and go in again. Maybe that reset it. I'm not really sure because I think I've got this down right. It was left, right, left, right, 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 left, left. Yeah! Yes! Oh, this is awesome. This is a lot like the room. In a way, anyway. A 
Okay. Time to find out if she uh, hurts me or helps me. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, okay, no new map or anything, I guess. We're still just underneath the dead tree right now? Okay. I, I guess let's head forward. Yes? No? Oh no, no, I'm, I'm walking forward and the background is getting further away. That's not right. It happened again, okay. Uh, there's that sound again. If I go left, is it going to be like, oh? Yeah. But I go, I go through that and nothing happens. Um, is there some sort of combination to this? Hang on a moment, let me just spin around. So we've got that. We've got a slightly lower pitch there. And then a very high one. Okay, have I done the full circle now? Possibly. Possibly. Okay, so maybe I need to select the right one. Is it this one? No. Okay. So let's try... Not that one. But this one? No. I've got to admit, I'm a little bit confused. Maybe I'm actually going to have to use a hint now. Hmm. Let's see. It seems that we go back to the same area every time. I guess I'm just not picking the right one. Is it this one? That's different. Okay. The background didn't get further away from me or anything. So that was good. That was good. I, I don't really know what I'm looking for, though. Am I trying to match the sound in the background? Maybe. It's not that. It's not that. Could be that one. No, 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 that doesn't sound right. This one? Oh, I think I'm onto something here. We just gotta really pay attention to the background noise. Okay, so this this one is quite low pitched. Is it that one? Maybe? That one seems a bit more consistent, but maybe a little bit too high-pitched. He's a bit lower. Lower. Or is it that one? Oh my god, I don't know. I kind of want to use hints. Uh, is there a next one? That, that doesn't sound right. If we're following my logic in, and you've got to match the sound... That's too high. Mm. That one might just be it. Let's try it. Oh, okay. Okay, let's listen again. Okay, that's really quite high pitched. Is it that one? That sounds right to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many times do we have to do this? Because this is... You know, I'd like... I'd, I'd actually like to get to that wall over there. Is that right? I don't really listen to this one, probably. It's really high-pitched, this one. No. No, I don't think so. No. It actually might be this one. Oh no, it's not. Oh no. Am I am I not not following this right or perhaps I just didn't correctly choose the the right sound. I don't know. Hint, hint. Let me let me know what I'm doing. 
Am I doing it right? Follow the perfect song. Okay, I guess that's what I'm doing. We're on part four now, bloody hell. Um, yeah. Oh, hang on. Are we, are we at the beginning again? I think we might be. Oh, we are. Right, give me a moment. I'll get up back to the level we were at before. And we're going to see if we can crack this. That sounds about right. It is! It is! Hello. Don't kill me. <laughs> oh, fuck me! Okay. Did she? Oh, shit, blood. Maybe she did. Did I do that right? Did my blood... Give the tree life? Oh, there's the key! I guess I'm not dead. I guess I did it right. Right, okay. So, there, yeah, the key. What just happened to the key? Where'd it go? It just, like, evaporated. It just went into water or something. What's going on? I, I don't think I can go back inside the tree, either. It's not on the floor or anything to pick up. I don't believe I've got an inventory or anything, either. No, so... What's the deal with that? Um, hint? <laughs> Maybe? Uh, what the fuck? The Mylings and the Brook Horse, part one. Okay, I guess we're, we're done with the Chaldra then? Well, if that's the case, then perhaps this is a good point for me to say thank you very much for watching the first part of Year Walk. I hope you're really enjoying it. Please let me know if you are. And I hope to see you back in part two where we'll tackle the Mylings and the Brook Horse. See you then. So, ha! Ah, ooh! Hello! <laughs> that sounds about right. <gasps> it is! It is! Hello? Don't kill me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ooh, 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 fuck me!